This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. What are the actual pitfalls of having a scarcity mindset? You know, you're thinking, okay, but let's say hypothetically, I have a scarcity mindset, but there should be nothing wrong with that. Like, if I know the kind of girl specifically that I want, then what's the big deal? Here's a short list, all right? So for one, when you have a scarcity mindset, you're going to constantly fear rejection because you're thinking, I only have one or two shots with a certain type of girl. And so if those kind of girls reject me, then, oh, my God, my, my love life's never going to be the way I need it to be. I'm going to be totally devastated. And so, unfortunately, you're going to believe that the more you get rejected, the more it's going to reduce your chances of finding love. But rejection really is part of the dating process. And so the faster you're able to realize, oh, there are plenty of women out there, then you'll look at rejection as, okay, that's just one more person that let me know that they're not for me. Great. That means I can go, I can now focus on these other women that will probably date me versus they rejected me. I, I only have one more chance at this and then I'm going to be out. Like, don't, don't be that guy, right? Um, the second pitfall of having a scarcity mindset is that you're going to settle for less. You're going to end up selling for somebody that you're just like, I guess they'll do versus somebody you actually legitimately care for and want to be with long term. And we want you to get into happy relationships with women that you actually want to be with. But if you have a scarcity mindset, you're going to just be like, I guess I'll scrape at the bottom of this barrel, of this barrel and see who maybe one is there. Okay, I guess they'll have to do. And have to do relationships are never long term happy relationships. So don't do that. Like the more abundant you can start thinking, you'll start to realize, oh, I can legitimately go after the person I want. Now, if you don't know how to go about doing that, it could just simply be you don't have a system set in place to be able to actually attract and keep the women that you want. If you need help with that, you can check out the Introvert Dating Success Academy at introvertdatingsuccess.com because that's one of the things that we help you with the program is help you figure out a way to be able to be more confident to approach the one you actually want so that way you can end up in a thriving relationship that you yourself are happy about. Anyway, uh, the third way that having a scarcity mindset affects you is you will start to overinvest way too soon in a relationship. And those are for the guys that are like, okay, I got her on a date. Now I got to tell her all the things, how much I'd like it for this long and how much I care about her and how much I want to do things with her. Like you're going to be doing all these kinds of stuff on date one or two and then wonder why the girl's backing off. And it's because she's thinking, this is a lot. Wow. We only went on one date. He's already telling me about how much he fantasizes about me. Like, this is this is making me feel like he's kind of creepy and they're going to be out versus if you have a more abundant mindset, you'll be willing to be more patient with letting her know those kind of things, which will allow her to go on the natural feelings journey that she needs to go on in order to build true, authentic feelings with you versus you trying to rush her to those feelings because you're insecure and you're thinking this is your only shot. You know, uh, the fourth way, the fourth pitfall of having a scarcity mindset is you're going to start feeling jealous and insecure. I cannot begin to tell you the number of guys who have written me, oh my God, it's been two dates and I want to tell her this thing. Like, should I tell her because I'm so nervous and what if other guys get into the picture and this, this, and that? Well, if you are having all these feelings of jealousy and insecurity, then ultimately you're basically saying to her, I think you're going to leave me and I don't want you to leave me and I need you to stay. Please stay. And again, that's going to make a woman feel pressured to have to stick around, and women don't like to feel pressure. When they start to feel pressure, they start to suddenly not answer back texts, not say yes to dates, flake on dates, and eventually end up ghosting you. So you becoming insecure and jealous, again, that's a byproduct of having a scarcity mindset. If you don't have that, you think abundantly, you'll show up on dates with so much confidence, she'll be wondering why you're so confident and how is it you're not insecure? And that's fine. We want her to have that thought over why is he so insecure? You know what I mean? The fifth, the fifth pitfall of having a scarcity mindset is having a lack of confidence. You not being confident in yourself means that ultimately you are going to be doubting your own worth and your attractiveness. And that's going to project onto her. When you start doubting your worth, you're not aware of this guy, but the way you're carrying yourself, when you think low of yourself, it shows to women. They can read that energy and then subconsciously they're thinking, he thinks so low of himself. I'm trying to tell him he's attractive. He's saying he's not. Maybe he's not. Maybe he knows something I don't. You know what? If he's saying he's not attractive and he's thinking he's got low self-esteem, I should just go to somebody that has more self-esteem because women don't want to date guys that have low self-esteem. It is very taxing on them. They're already caring people. But the idea of having to constantly be the reason for your happiness is going to make most women want to head for the hills. So this starts with you being more confident. But if you have a scarcity mindset, 
then that's not going to be something you have, and it's going to cause you to lose women. The sixth pitfall of not uh, of having a scarcity mindset is being needy. See, when you think something is scarce, you're going to try to hold on to it real tight. And so what that's going to what that's going to do is come off to the woman as needy behavior. Like you're thinking, I just want to let her know that I care about her and I want her around all the time and that I want her attention. And she's thinking, why does he need all of my attention? Why is he always calling me, always texting me, always want to be around? It seems like a lot. He seems needy. And neediness is never a good thing because it makes it come off to women like you need constant reassurance. And again, they're not trying to do that. It is not your partner's job to constantly reassure you. They're supposed to be an addition to your life, but not the thing that brings ultimate joy, happiness, and reassurance. So if you're clingy, I mean, if you're, if you're, um, if you are uh, having a scarcity mindset, then that's what you're giving off to women and you're going to lose them. The seventh pitfall of having a scarcity mindset is you're going to be overanalyzing everything. Every movement she does, every conversation she has with you, every flick of her hair, every little twitch of her eyebrow, you're going to be thinking, what's going on? What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh my God, does this mean, does that, does that thing she said to me jokingly mean that she's going to leave me? Does this, mean this, does this thing that she's doing mean that she's thinking about other guys? Like, what's going on? And again, if you had, if you weren't so scarce in your mindset, then the thing she's doing, yes, I, because I, I tell you guys, you need to be kind of analyzing where things are at here and there, but it's not to the point where it's obsession, to where it's point where it's like you're analyzing things because you're thinking at any moment this girl's going to go away, so I got to analyze everything to make sure that it that is or isn't happening. Like, don't put yourself through that torture in your head because that's no way to date and that's no way to be. It's just it's very tiresome and stressing to be honest with you. The eighth, the eighth pitfall of having a scarcity mindset is you are going to have a difficult time letting a woman go. More so important, you're going to have a hard time letting go of the kind of women that you should not actually be dating. Because when you have a scarce mindset, you're thinking, this is all I can get. And so even if she's abusive, cheats on me, uses me for money, I still have to let this one stick around because I don't know if I'll get anybody else. And that is a dangerous place to be because women will seek you out, guy, and then purposely use you and manipulate you for what they want and then still leave you for somebody else in the long run. So whereas if you're more confident, if you're more abundant, then your thought process would be like mine, which is I'm indifferent. I want this person to stay around, but if they don't, I can find somebody else. And for whatever reason, women typically like that thought process more than thinking, oh my God, I got to stick around and make him happy. And what if I don't, he's going to like hurt himself or whatever. Like don't put women through that torture, okay? This is not to say again that, it doesn't mean that I'm telling you to not care about women or to not have emotions to women. I'm saying you always need to have the understanding that we are ultimately our own people. And so if her happiness means staying with you, great. If it means not being with you, also great, because it means that you can now not keep somebody that doesn't want you and you can move on to somebody else. But you have to have the thought that there is a somebody else you can eventually move on to. If you don't have that thought process, I feel bad about that. Go to introvertdatingsuccess.com and we can talk about that in a coaching session. The ninth pitfall of having um, a scarcity mindset is you will avoid taking risk. In other words, you're thinking, I don't want to risk losing anybody. Or a lot of guys would be like, I, I, I want to get with this girl, but I don't want to risk her going away. So I'll just turn it into a friendship or I won't ever tell her that I want to go on a date with her. And so they're thinking they're playing the safe bet because it's better to have this person in their life in some capacity than in no capacity. Guys, you are losing out to women that would actually date you simply because you're not willing to take a risk of potentially losing them. Because hey, let's be real, asking a woman out on a date, there is a risk that she could be freaked out by it and wanna go away and never talk to you again. But if you're looking for a long-term partner, you have to be willing to take that risk, even if it means you may potentially lose an interaction with somebody. Because I can, I can assure you, any women that I any women that I had crushes on back in the day that I either didn't ask out or did ask out, but they rejected me, in either case, none of those women are around now, and I don't feel bad about it. But in the moment, it's very hard to think, I, if, if I get rid of this woman, I'm going to feel hurt. You'll feel hurt, like, for two months. And then you'll be like, who the, who the freak is she? Like, at least in my experience, you know? So learn to take those risks early on. Be willing to say, hey, I want to take you out on a date. Like, use the word date, you know? But if you have a scarcity mindset, you're going to hold on to somebody and think, I don't ever want to ask them out because, God forbid, they say no, then it's going to be weird and awkward and they're going to go away. That might happen, but you don't get where you want to get if you don't take those risks in the first place. 
The let's see what this number is. The oh, tenth and the tenth reason, uh, the tenth pitfall of having a scarcity mindset is you're going to be displaying inauthentic behavior. In other words, in an attempt to try to keep this person around, you're going to try to act like somebody you feel that she wants to keep around. And that's not good. Now, I do tell you guys, hey, just as a guy in general, you need to be getting better with like communication skills, be more confident, etc. These are all positive changes that you need to legitimately add to yourself as a person so you can be authentic in that way. But you changing your beliefs or changing the things you say or do in hopes of pleasing a woman, you're doing that because you think you're going to risk losing her and that God forbid you say the wrong thing or do the wrong action and she gets mad at you. Oh my God, she's not around. I'm devastated. Whereas if you have an abundant mindset, then you're going to find that you'll feel like you can be your complete self. And even if women initially, like there's some tension there with how you are, ultimately women respect you when you are your authentic self. And some of, some of you guys are underdeveloped in that area. You need to develop a little bit better in terms of like being a version of your authentic self that is actually, that is also conductive to like relationships. Cause I'll tell you now, you being the version of yourself, that's a slob that plays video games all day and whatever, like, that's not the word version that's going to keep women. So we do want to help you be more authentic while also adding things to that authenticity that are going to be beneficial habits for you to have in the dating world. But you completely changing yourself like 180 for women altogether. Women don't respect that. It makes them feel as though they don't know the real you. And they can tell when you're being inauthentic. They can tell when they say something that you disagree with, but you agree with them because you want to get in their good side. Women can read that and they're going to think, I don't trust him. What's going on? So the more abundant your mindset is, you'll do less of that kind of stuff and you'll be more authentic and be willing to display that version of yourself to women, all right?